That's irritating. Mm. Kratos' mom was just a Spartan woman named Callisto. You okay. killed okay. Mag. That he did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <laughs> oh yeah, and the kid, um... Yeah, uh, 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 the kid does not know that you're a god. Uh, by the way, for anyone confused as to why the kid is confused why you can kill a god, he doesn't know you got like stuff. You think you think he'd catch on at this point? We 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 moved a fucking a bridge, an entire bridge with our bare hands. Wow, you're pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, I think he mentions that a couple times. Like my dad's like super strong. It's it's really just making him seem dumb. <laughs> I'm just explaining the story at this point for people who are unaware. Is that's that's a that's a bit of the the conflict you the here the early in the game is uh, is Kratos does not want the boy to know about about his godliness. Where are those runes? The boy mustn't know. You gotta find the runes. Rich, find the room runes of the boy. The boy will do the thing. Boy. I want all that booty. <laughs> I need all that booty. I need the runes. Uh, Where are the runes? The, the booty runes? I need the booty runes. Oh, I think I remember where the booty runes is. I think look out onto the ice. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Get that booty. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there's one. And I think look behind you. Nope. Uh, uh, sorry, to your right. Stay up there. Stay up on the thing. Back there. Is that... Mm, no, nah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's out on the ice again. Uh... God of the swiggity swooty, give rich that booty. Is it in here? Mm, I don't know. Wait, you just got one more to go. Why? I'm looking in here. I'm, what I'm saying is, you only have one more. It could be in there. I don't know. Usually they're like in the same area as the thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, roughly. I mean, this is fairly close, though. Once Probably not in the here. Stone, Jack, did you get my email, Chuck Fox? I don't know. Maybe. I usually check the email. Relic after all. Damn it! Did you? You already blew up that thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep, that is. That is, you got it. What I get? You got it, doop. Doop, 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 doop. Pop Raz Maglu says greetings from Undisclosed. Have you considered streaming Frostpunk? What the fuck is that? Knowing your love for grim strategy, I think Rich would enjoy it. Uh, okay, I, I've not even heard of it. It, so. it sounds like neither of us have heard of this uh, Frost Punk. 
I gotta finish playing this. Yeah, you do. I've I've gotta play my emulated and modded Breath of the Wild. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. And battle tech's on the agenda. There's a lot of shit I gotta play. Did you get that email? Yeah. Okay, great. Rich has the battle tech code. Thank you to who whomever sent it to us again. The uh, there there is for for those curious. I see a couple people in chat curious. Uh, there is currently a Wii U emulator out in the world, and because there is that a Wii runs Breath of the Wild very well. Right, and so because there is a Wii U emulator and Breath of the Wild is on the Wii U, there is a uh, Breath of the Wild on PC with apparently that has mods. That give you unbreakable weapons, so you could have, you could get like a nice shield, like like one of the. Uh, I'm, I'm more interested in some of the cosmetic stuff, but yeah. You could get the master sword and a nice shield and have them not break, so you could have them for the whole game, which would be very nice. It would be very nice. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I'm thinking about it. I'm saying that would just be nice. It'd be a nice thing to have. <laughs> I thought I thought it might be enough to put you over the edge, Jack. I thought I thought it was finally going to corrupt you. <laughs> no, it would take a lot more than that. Jack needs to pull that stick out of his ass. Ain't gonna happen, my friend. It's wedged pretty firmly in there. It's just become part of my life at this point. It'd feel funny if I sat without it. Pratuma. Playing Breath of the Wild right now, and good weapons are falling out of my ass. Which is, like, that's the other thing, is my, my second playthrough of Breath of the Wild, even though weapons breaking still pisses me off, I, I've just been avoiding combat and finding it a, a really pleasant experience and not really worrying about what weapons I have. You know, I have my stable of, of good weapons, and but you just don't have to worry about it if you, if you don't worry about combat. Though every time I, I have a really great weapon that I love and it shatters, it's like, come on, every time. Got some space juice, some dust of realms. Maybe there's a coffee mod for Breath of the Wild that would put Jack over the edge. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, now you're talking. You, you complete Terrytown, and you can get your own coffee farm in Terrytown. Or that house you buy. That oh. you, have that, you, have that, you have that yard area. Now you're talking. See, now you know, you know how to corrupt me. <laughs> I'm gonna, I gotta go get another water. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy your water. I'm gonna go get it some more water. That's what I meant to do. Was the kid coughing? There's I can't nobody. hear it. I can get it. He's gonna die. 
Because he's too weak. There's a path to the exit. On the other side. Drop the drop the chain, you little shit! Drop the chain so I can get up there. That works. <laughs> where did Jack go? I, I think he's secretly looking up where to download the Wii U emulator. He didn't he didn't want to do it on camera. Jack leaves rich again. I just, just for a little bit. He's down there getting some water and decided to go to the bathroom. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, please read tips. I will. Just give me one minute, Soul Proxy. I just thought of something that is uh, quasi important. Quasi. Which means it's not really important. Not really important, but important enough. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Wrote a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? Oh. Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. Oh, bonding. I say nice thing. Yes. <laughs> I am kind to boy now. You're not totally awful. <laughs> As it turns out, I kind of like you a little bit. I sure hope nothing bad happens to you. My real fear was losing you. My, my real, my real strength comes from my love for you, boy. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> so where do I go with the stupid side quest? What stupid side quest? Uh, find that guy's whetstone. Oh, that's a whole thing. I know it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing, man. I already did the first part of it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There Wait, you got the whetstone? No. What did, I went to the first area. Oh. Know, and I had some, like, four really difficult fights. Yeah, those sucked. And that's that part is done. Oh, okay. And we still didn't get the whetstone. Yeah, I think you, do you have to find the dragon next? I have no idea what I oh. find next for that. 
Well, shit. How would I? How would I know? I well, I don't know. Boy, another one. Ah, you know this one, don't you? It's Tom, the giant stone mason. Is he building a wall around Jotunheim? It was to be his Why not explore the hidden chamber? I was curious the where the side quest was. Mm -hmm. Too bad the first boy. Right behind you. Boy. 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 I know we just discovered something that you that interests you, but we must go now, boy. Well, Kratos don't get no fucks about history or nope. art. But Dad, I read and that's my power. I'm smart. Dad. Shut up and read this. Because like I'm illiterate. <laughs> Dad, why don't you like that me? That would explain the hefty magical lock on the outside. <laughs> but it's more than that. I have this feeling. Like something is waiting for us down here. You've this game is so boring. When there's a fight, fly. it's fun. What yeah. Kind of something. And Rich is going, uh... Something powerful. Rich is going someplace fun right now, I think. We will handle it. If we I have remember correctly. Far. Yes. Yes. You might be going someplace fun. Ah. Uh, okay, tips. Tips, tips, tips. Anonymous says, hey guys, Rich, what are your thoughts on the spirit animals in this game? Do you like them? Spirit animals? Yeah. You know, the when the when when boy shoots his arrows and animals come out. Oh, I haven't I haven't used those that much. Ah. Why? But I think they're just wondering. They just want to know how I feel about that. That one aspect of the game. Uh, it's you know. I, it, you know, there they are. It's helpful. I I think they're they they're useful. A Valkyrie, imprisoned. She actually did it. A Valkyrie. A Valkyrie. But I thought they were just spirits. Take caution, lads. A Valkyrie in the flesh. I can't think of a more formidable opponent. She does not attack. Does she even know we're here? So we're gonna fight a Valkyrie. Be my presumption. Whoa. I think she knows we're here now. Here we go! Set me free! <laughs> no! Gotta yeah. fight a fucking Valkyrie. Yeah. And it's oh. awesome. <laughs> Ooh, she's tough. Yeah, she's tough. This is this is a monster of a fight. So, like, don't be ashamed if you gotta, you know, <laughs> come back later, level up a bit. This is a great fight, though. Like, I love the Valkyrie fight. This is a heck of a fight. It's got to say, set me free so that you aren't the bad guy for murdering a woman. No, no, there's a whole, there's a whole thing with the Valkyries. Where this is their, their trapped spirits. And if you can defeat them in battle, you set their spirit to Valhalla or some shit like that. It's not about, it's not about murdering woman, women. God of War will murder anyone. Uh... We run into some, I don't, like, I don't know if you did any of the other ghost missions around the lake of Nine. Not really. There, there's a there's a bunch of ghost missions where you have to do shit for ghosts to set their spirits free, so. It's not specifically a woman thing. I don't know that I've got it. Well, like, once you're ready, and, you know, it's okay if you're not ready, uh, but once you're ready, these are a heck of a fight, man. This is a, this is a, a, a bare-knuckle brawl. It took me a few lives to figure it out, but it's, it's pretty intense. I, I think I might have come back later, but I, I forget. I think she knows we're here now. Focus up, boy. Oh, big whiff. She 
<laughs> I'm not being condescending. I'm saying what I'm saying is You're being condescending. In no, in the game's favor, it lets you come back to some of these things when you're ready. <laughs> a, a an actual positive for the game is it's not forcing you to do this right now. Not being condescending. <clears throat> Uh, let's see here. Soul Proxy says, could you please give a shout out to Bun Bun? Me and my girlfriend Bun Bun are huge fans of the show. Rich Evans is our idol. It felt hey, like it was going well. You did better. You you did better. <sighs> You're doing it. You're doing it. There's not much room for error. No, no. That's that's why I like these fights, is there is not much room for error. Can we shout out to Len's new project? Yes, the uh, the gauntlet of the five masters or whatever, where he actually got Leo Fong to be in his movie. Did you hear about that? Yeah. Lens, Lens, great. He's doing it. I, I forget the title of his next movie, but he, uh, Leo Fong, will be, I believe, one of the one of the masters. Lens making us making y'all look bad. Len's been making us look bad since before we were looking bad, man. Len, Len's a, is a maker. Len is a goddamn maker. And and should be an inspiration to anyone. He doesn't give he doesn't give a fuck. He's just making shit. There you know, like there if you look back at that interview that Jay and I did with Len way back in the day. We talk about kind of like the creator, uh, the creative person having having the final say over any of us assholes who make fun of their work. And uh, and that's Len. He's making stuff. He wanted to make some shit and he made it. How many, how many more deaths do we give this? As, as many as you want. This is the rest of the stream, man. Yeah, do it. Out. Challenge of the Five Gauntlets. Thank you, Mal Ratko, who, who uh, linked to the Indiegogo of Len's new project. He's doing it. He's making it. gonna parry so just fuck it rage. Actually I think I just, just handle the controller a little bit too strongly. Oh. <laughs> 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 
you know, like, and I definitely, like, I, I have my own issues with people crowdfunding projects, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bes begrudge anyone who's trying to, you know, make money on a project before the project. Well, one's a maker. He's been making shit for, for a long time. Nice move. It's a nice move. I want to Len Kabasinski and Neil Breen team up. Neil would never agree to work with someone like that. There are only Neil Breen projects. That was so badass. <laughs> Calling your axe back and parrying at the same time. Oh, that was so badass. That was some shit timing oh. if I ever saw it. <laughs> oh, oh, you definitely called down the karma fairy on that one. You called out your win a little too too quickly there, Rich. <laughs> Oh, got got a little premature celebration. Come on, but it, but you have I think you have the fight down. Like you kind of know the moves now. God damn it! I wanted it. I wanted it. Well, you have the moves down now. You know how the fight works now, man. Isn't that a great fight? <laughs> No, I know, it's gonna be the number one clip from the stream. <laughs> <laughs> hello, say hello to Premature Celebration. How many lives this God have? Uh, infinite, my friend. Yeah, I know my mojo's gone now. Oh, oh that sucks. Sorry, Rich. Uh, let's see here. Future famous person says, uh, this is a 13-year-old spoiler from the first God of War. So, heads up to anyone. I wonder how Atreus would feel knowing that his dead half-sister's ashes are what makes Kratos' skin so white. Well, I think that's kind of that's that's kind of the story of this God of War is Kratos is trying to shield his son from his former atrocities from his violent past. Is that's why he's hiding the fact that he is a god for his son. I know your, your tip was supposed to be fine, but... I like this fight. This is a great fight. This is a nice brawl. Nice and simple, but tough as hell. Tough. But once you start, you know, reading the tells right and, and hitting the timing, it's a great fight. Nicely done. Oh! 
Oh, oh you could taste it. You could taste it. Move, move. Oh. Yeah, still playing Dad of Boy. Rich, uh, before we do our official review, Rich has a little bit further. Nice! Nice! This is a question for uh, anyone. Anyone? I, I've uh, I've only fought. Uh, I've only fought this Valkyrie. There's a there's a whole uh, this the this Valkyrie fight is part of a whole yeah. side mission. Yeah. That's you know free all the Valkyrie, and I think there's like eight or ten Valkyrie fights. Yeah. So I actually have a question for anyone who has fought more than one Valkyrie. Do they all have the same move set, or is every fight unique? I'd imagine they just get harder. Just more health, more they do more damage. I mean, they already can kill you maybe, in like maybe two Maybe some hits. new some new moves, but but intermixed with the old ones, not <laughs> sure. They're they're saying they're all a bit different and they get crazier. That's great. Because these Valkyrie fights are top notch. That's 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 something that I've I've repeated a lot, which is you know, boss fights should use the same mechanics as regular fights, just be harder. And I think that these Valkyrie fights are amazing boss fights. The, the red circle attacks are unblockable, yes. And the yellow circles are unparry, or the, the red circles are unblockable. The yellow circle circle attacks are parryable, and then there's just regular attacks which are blockable, and I don't believe parryable. And you see, like when that happens, when Rich gets kind of staggered back, it means he tried to parry and uh, got his timing a little wrong, so that he's staggered instead of the enemy. So it, the, the fighting mechanics are very nice and consistent and have a decent, especially with that axe, have a decent weight to them. Oh, yeah. I think Rich can do it. I think Rich can do it. He, he has the moves down, and now it's just getting the right time. This is a hard fight, but I think Rich can do it. Well, you know, sometimes you want to gamble on that parry, and sometimes you want to play it safe. And even though an attack is parryable, just just shield. So I think Rich is balancing pretty well here. Oh! <laughs> Hey! <laughs> 
Oh. oh. So close, Rich. So close. I'll get it. Oh yeah, no. I'm you, totally you, gonna get it. You have all the moves. You know what to yeah. do. It's yeah. just it's just that time. You're gonna get it. And uh, and I'm trying to like talk, but also stay silent so Rich can concentrate. So yeah, talk talk. Chat. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a stream. You can talk to the chat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as far as like official, I, I saw a person in chat ask if I would recommend this game. And I, I've actually, I, I'm I'm waiting for our review before like I make that call. To me, because I'm not sure. I th there are good aspects to this game. The combat is really good. I have a lot of problems with the story, and I think overall the pacing is very off. But there are some good things about the game. And so I actually don't know if I have, like, a recommendation or not. How, how much bad pacing can you deal with personally, you know? Oh, no, and by the way, for, for me fighting uh, the Valkyrie, I want to say it took me at least at least ten a dozen tries, so Rich is fine as far as me seeing Rich die over and over again. It took me a few tries as well. I did. I certainly did not defeat her on my first try. Explain the bad pacing. Uh, that's uh, something I can explain better in our official review because then I can use clips to elaborate. Um, but uh, over, to, to oversimplify it, I, it takes too long. The story has too many uh, has too many uh, retreading points, and and they're, they're trying to tell a a, a two-hour story in twenty hours. I feel. And there's too many breaks between the very, the, the fun action. The action is fun. I like the actual gameplay. But then they take breaks from awesome gameplay to do puzzles or to tell story, and the story takes too long. But, like I said, I, we, I can get into the deep explanation of that when I can use uh, visual aids. Excellent. So it's the Hobbit. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it's a little Hobbit-esque. Apparently, the God of War clip in which Rich proclaimed that he is the God of War is already on the Reddit. It's already on the RLM subreddit, so yeah. congratulations, Rich. You did it. Ellis Hobbit review is really good. Yes. If uh, if you don't already watch Lindsay Ellis's movie related video essays, her her, her um her two part Hobbit series, her two part video series that's actually three videos in a very funny turn. Her her part one of two, two of two, and three of two on the Hobbit are. Wonderful, and I highly recommend them. I uh, I like Lindsay's uh, stuff anyway, but her Hobbit videos are, are top notch. Uh, Prog plays. I've beaten the game. I, I've beaten the story of the game. But. Uh, 
I, I had some free time and I didn't have to do uh, a review of a movie recently. So I'm, I'm not begrudging of that rich. If you need more reasons to hate Warner Brothers, it's a must see. It delves it delves deep into some shit that I was not expecting it to go. Like not only does it talk about why the movies don't work and the adaptation, it goes into how uh, uh, Guillermo del Toro got you know was taken off of it. it. It went into like unionized actors' rights of New Zealand of all things. It it goes deep into a bunch of shit. It's a it's a great series. The Hobbit videos are interesting and a little depressing. Yes, they really are. The 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 part three of two of the Hobbit videos just discusses how the Hobbit videos actually tore apart union rights for actors in New Zealand. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Lindsay Ellis's series of the Hobbit videos. If someone could find the link for me, uh. That would be great. Uh, Lindsay Ellis is a YouTube video essayist, is I guess the best way to put it. And she does movie reviews and discussions on movies. She also has a really great one on on all of the ways Bright fails. If you remember the Orc Cop Netflix original movie. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. Highly recommend. She's she's great. She's a great voice. If you are interested in uh, the makings of movies, oh, Bright was Bright was awful, and she does a really good dissection of why it's awful in terrifyingly specific details. Is Lindsay Ellis the nostalgia chick? I have no idea. I have no idea. You doing, doing it? Besides RLM, she's the only other YouTube channel I watch for movie critique. She's great. She is. She is. I don't. I. I don't. Uh, I don't do much on Patreon. But she's one of the few. She's one of the few who I give money to just because I want her to keep making stuff. Her and Captain Disillusion and uh, No Clip. I, I want them to keep making stuff forever, so I give, I give them money. Nice. Apparently she used to be the nostalgia chick. Oh, okay. I haven't. I have no. I don't know what that is. Or I just know her from. Shit! Oh, oh Rich! Shit! Oh! It does. It does take a little bit of time, and you're exposed. Uh, for 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 those who don't know what just happened there, Rich um, stomped on the health pack. And when you stomp on the health pack, you cannot block or hit. You're exposed for that second. Oh, that was a close one, man. Jack, do you give money to the RLM Patreon? I do not. And sometimes I actually miss out on RLM content because of it. Every once in a while, people will be like, Hey, I love that behind-the-scenes video. And I was like, what behind-the-scenes video? Jay, what? <laughs> so usually Jay will have to send me a link. <laughs> Every once in a while, I will miss out on RLM content because I'm not a Patreon. <laughs> uh, Ronnie Ballstein, I am the only... Uh, I, I have a day job. I, I have a day job, and my day job is a video producer. I make commercial videos. I edit and produce videos for a living. 
Uh, Rich, Mike, and Jay do RLM full time. Oh, Dev she, oh she's devastating. Ad adult video producer. Well, I am an adult and a video producer, but not a not that kind of adult video producer. But I make commercial videos, and uh, I've made some branded viral content. Right now, it's mostly just commercial work, where you know people need a video to post on other social media platforms, and I make a little video. Just got done with one I was pretty happy with. You want those big ones, but it, it, she's a, she's a quick one. She's a quick one. Why does your axe do like no damage to her? Because she's very fucking strong. This is a major fucking boss fight. Yes. And, you know, you can come back to her after you've leveled up a little bit, but Rich wants to take care of her now, and, and you can. It just takes a little more time. Oh! Oh! That actually hit. Did it? Yeah. Oh, it didn't look like it hit. Well, it's not a killing blow on her, so I don't think he does the fancy animation. Oh, okay. Here's, uh, oh, well, thank you, Shooty McBoom Boom. We appreciate it. Uh, Prag plays, yes. Both Rich and I have seen Infinity Wars. We're not going to talk about it today. I was, I was mo most, I, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with Infinity Wars. It's cute. We'll, we'll have more to say about it maybe on Wednesday. We'll do a, a little spoilery talk on Wednesday. Later on Wednesday. Cute. It's, 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 I, I overall enjoy it. No! Oh, ho, ho. Push to be on half in the bag for a movie you had strong feeling in. No, never. No, never. What? <sighs> what? 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 That was a, clearly a dodge. <laughs> clearly, clearly, and obviously a dodge. Yeah. No, this isn't. You know, like <sighs> a, a dodge doesn't negate all damage in God of War, like it does in like the Bloodborne. No, I never pushed me on half the bag. That's not my show. I have no right to push or or even ask. I don't think. I don't f feel like I even have the right to ask to be on a half in the bag, as it is not my show. Every you know, uh, once or maybe twice now, I forget. Jay and Mike have asked me to be on, and I'm more than happy to be on, but not my thing. I've brought up a couple. Uh, a couple suggestions to be on uh, review, just because that's more of a, a whoever wants to do whatever situation. But they do, they do make money off of my face, right? But still, half in the bag. That's not that's not my show. That's that's Mike and Jay's. If they ever want me to be a part of it, I'm more than happy to be a part of it, but they they come to see Mike and the other guy, not the other guy and the other guy. I know I know the script. Uh, 
here. Um, Joe Kitty 001 says, "Hey guys, do you all have a catering budget, or do you just bring in your own food?" Catering budget, <laughs> right? You guys, you guys have us confused with like a real production. Oh God, Rich. Um, usually when there is a, a best of the worst, um, sometimes a large sandwich will be provided. And, uh, and we get free reign of what's ever in the refrigerator. A sandwich of substantial size. Uh, it's, a, it's a large sandwich. It's not a great sandwich, but it's a big <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> You know, there's so there's that. Usually, I'll bring in uh, for best of the worst. I'll bring in a little something of my own just because I might want a cookie in between all the movies, uh, or I might not want the big sandwich. Uh, who do I agree with most when it comes to movies? I, I'm I'm a kind of in between. Uh, there's some things I am totally with Jay on, some things I'm with Mike on, some things I'm with Rich on. I, I like weirdo, arty, creepy movies like Jay. I like big, dumb action like Mike. I like sci-fi like Rich. I'm just all over the place. I think you get your shield back up in time. Fucking die! Oh shit, that was it! R3, R3! Oh, oh fuck! Nice job, Rich. You are the god of war. This time. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look! You have freed me from my corrupted form. You have my eternal gratitude. But my sisters remain trapped as I was. You did it. You freed the Valkyrie from her corrupted form. Find them. Free them. The fate of the Valkyries rest on your shoulders. Whew. <laughs> I like that. M Mooniversal says, now phase two, you fight the ghost. <laughs> 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 that would suck. Here, take my decapitated head. I think that's just the shield. To be fair... Feet of the Valkyries. Sounds pretty important. That's putting it mildly, lad. What do you know of them? That's a great a fight, question, isn't it? And yet not yeah, it is a great fight. That is a great fucking fight. Most, that's a highlight. That's a highlight of the game for me, is that fight. I'm sure the... I didn't do any of the other fights, but I'm sure the other fights are equally as great. You are avoiding the question, head. As I said, brother... It's complicated. I don't know why or how they become such wretched creatures, but perhaps if we can free more of them. Why is there a what talking is head on his butt? That is Mimir. He is helping us on our quest to get to Fjordenheim. Will be dangerous. Well, that hasn't stopped you. The before, land of the I... ice giants. Mm. Though they're not ah, giants. Giants is just the name of their race. 
though some the of them, one was a giant. Though some of definitely, them, to be totally fair, giant. are definitely giants, right? <laughs> uh, treasure, Rich. What, what? What? Where? Where? Oh, thanks. Just looking at the chat. Isn't that from Thor? Yes. Well, th Thor is you know mythology based on Norse mythology, and this God of War is. Based on Norse mythology. In fact, you just missed. Uh, Rich just stuck his axe into one of Thor's kids' face. <laughs> right in Thor's kid's face, that dickhead. <laughs> the first uh, the first big fight of the movie is with Thor's brother, Boulder. Balder, I think, isn't it? Balder? Yeah. Is it Balder or Boulder? B-A-O. Oh, I don't know. I've been calling him in my head. I've been calling him Boulder, so. <laughs> but also, I've been calling our kid a uh, a Treyu, and I know it's a Trey us. But in my head, it's the never ending story. It's a Treyu. <laughs> Pat was Pate was taken. Says, "Wow, they turned the movie Thor into a religion." It's a very <laughs> popular movie. The Marvel Cinematic Universe has really come a long way. Uh, I have not seen Ariel on Netflix. Speaking of Artie Farty, I've heard good things. Baldur's Gate. Oh, so it's. Wait. It's Baldur like Baldur's Gate? Not Boulder like a fucking big rock. Okay, great. Where'd my boat go? My boat. My boat up in. Oh, there it is. No, it's, 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 I thought it was that one on the beach that was covered in snow. Now then. Maybe Freya will have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Yacht Knight, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye. But his hidden boat is very much in reach. In Boulder the here is nothing like in North Minnesota. Well, they gotta take some liberties. Until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. <laughs> we could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. We shall see, boy. We shall see, boy. You can tell he is a god by how fast he rows his canoe, says YCZM. He's very he's a very good at rowing that canoe. was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanier goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanier magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Do you find the game's frame rate distracting? Was a sacrifice no. To protect our people. Some, uh, sometimes Selfish on stream you might notice some frame Holy droppage. We're not getting God. any frame droppage here. Of course, there's no. more to that. Every once in a while on stream you might notice that just because of our capture card. So, heads up. Hey Jack, what indie game are you looking forward to? I don't even know at this point. I got nothing. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to checking out the new character in uh, in uh, the uh, you know. Oh shit! Why am I forgetting the name of the deck building game? That just released its new character. Slay the Spire? Wow! Where was my brain? The uh, Slay the Spire just released its third character, so I'm interested in checking that out. The brains. The character isn't really out yet. It's in beta. The whole game Here. is still in beta, Boy. dog. It's uh, the whole game is in early access still. It's another one of those maps. Are you okay? I no, my brain left me for a good 
for a good while. My brain just straight up left me for a good while. Uh, what other indie game am I looking forward to? It does want me to go to that island. Or the island of land. What? I'm trying to follow the, the marker to the side quest. The blue marker on the compass at the top. Well, look at your map. See where it is. Not sure which one it is. Recover Gulvog's bones. Recover Gulvog's bones. Gulvog's bones. Hmm. Hmm. Um. What a uh, Inkenfell. I think that's the name of it. The 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 old school turn based RPG game about a wizard school uh, is coming closer and closer to being done. That looks like a really adorable little game. And uh, they just put a Steam page up, so I'm looking forward to playing some Inkenfell. Uh, what, what other, there's, there's... No, it wants me to go back to the boat. When I get in the boat, it wants me to come here. Uh-huh. I'm very confused what this, what this guide marker wants me to do. It's a terrible guide marker. Your objective is 660 meters away, Rich. You are not, you are nowhere, nowhere close. Nowhere even fucking close. All right. You are nowhere right. even fucking close. Now you're getting closer to it. All right, all right. Wow, it's like there was an entire city under the water. I lied. A forgotten city. What was it called? Ah, uh, well, I forgot. Ah. This is <laughs> These are the jokes, people. These are the jokes. What wizard game? Ink yeah, I think it's called Inkenfell, I think. Hold on. Uh, I can't I'm, I'm being bad at... I'm Love being bad at promoing stuff. Or Eichenfell, maybe? For instance, Odin Eichenfell? hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Bjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. The Eichenfell, I-K-E-N-F-E-L-L, -L -L, is a uh, an old-school turn-based RPG about a wizard school. And it's, it's all sorts of pixel art and turn-based combat, and it looks really adorable. Eichenfell is what it's called, not Inkenfell. Eichenfell, and uh, it looks great. So wait, what quest is this now? Find the whetstone. You're on the whetstone <coughs> site. That's yeah. right. Um, and uh, so I'm looking forward to that. They just put a Steam page up, so that must mean they're getting close-ish. I've been playing uh, a lot in my uh, in my free time with the family. We've been playing a lot of Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time, which the children have come to absolutely love. small amount of convincing, they are agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. Let's pick this up later, then. Once you retrieve the whetstone... Please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. Let's Who's talking with the Scottish accent? It's um the head. It's the head that's on Kratos's back. That's Mimir. He's a head. <laughs> oh, you have an axe upgrade. Yeah. And a bow upgrade too. That's nice. If you see my brother again, tell him to keep his fiddlers off my axe. Uh, Chopper, yes, we are going to review this game. Uh, Rich would like to finish it first, and I think that's a smart call. I think that's a really smart call. So that's why we're playing it today. We are going to do a full, uh, a full review of this game. Why is the head Scottish? 
Uh, probably because the voice actor could do a Scottish accent and thought it would be fun. <laughs> I mean, how north is Norse? <laughs> I need to find me some smoldering embers, Jack. That's all I know. If you go back to, you know, that area where you choose your realms... I believe one of the realms you can choose is the fire realm. And I, I didn't get any smoldering embers. <laughs> but it sounds like the place to look. If you go there, I, I remember one of the realms being red. So I think that's like a fire <laughs> realm. Does that count? I, I love your logic there. That, uh, tell me I'm wrong. It's, uh, it makes perfect sense. I, I'm making a, 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 a leap of logic, but I think it works. Uh, Sly Deadliest, I've played and beaten the original God of War, and that's my entire experience with God of War. Rich, what's your experience pre this Part with Part of, of the first one. Okay. So that's what you got. Like, I, and I remember enjoying the first God of War. Obviously, like, there was some quick-timey bullshit. Uh, but, you know, as a, as a dumb, fun, beat-em-up hack-and-slashy, I, I enjoyed it. Be seeing ya. Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. I still can't believe the son would kill his own father. That's crazy, right? <laughs> I know, we only got one side of the story. But come on, his own father? I mean, I get angry at you sometimes, but... Do you? I mean, sometimes, yeah, a little. But I'd never stab you in the back. No. I imagine not. <laughs> Crispy Friedman says foreshadowing. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, there's a dude walking up there. This clan really didn't want anyone coming in. How are we supposed to get through? There must be a way to lift the gate. Maybe with the big water wheel. My thought as well. Uh, let's see here. Torn. Oh. Tornado Soul says Neil Breen has the biggest balls. There you go. More Sierra games, please. I loved old DOS games. Share a DOS games story. DOS, huh? Yeah. A do. Uh, oh. So, uh, Share a DOS game story. Fuck my cock, LOL. So, I don't. I don't know that DOS is technically incorrect. Probably not, but most people. It, it, know it is. As, it does stand for something. Yeah. You know most what? people know them as DOS games. It's disk operating system. Is that it? Yeah. Oh well, there you go. There you go. Uh, eventually, I do want us to play. Um, what's the next space quest? Is that three? Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think we did three yet. Yeah, I, so I do want us to play Space Quest Three. I think we can move on to some point in clickies as long as uh, we can still do the voices for the characters. That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with point in clickies. But you know, I, half of the fun of those streams is the voices we do, and so if there if there's any voice work, it's almost like what's the point, you know? But I'd be okay with, like, a secret of Monkey Island or, or like, the old, uh, apparently there's a decent Indiana Jones point-and-click adventure. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Yeah. I wouldn't mind doing that. Day of the Tentacle, I think, has voice acting. So, we might stay away from something like that. Oh! That guy gave you a sucker punch. <laughs> the Blade Runner adventure game is better than it has any right to be as well. Well, great. What I'm saying is there's stuff there to do. And, uh, you know, we'll do it. What's we'll do it. What's the famous one that's kind of a ripoff of Blade Runner? Is that Snatcher? Snatcher. Snatcher. 
chat. Chat, is that Snatcher? Yeah, uh, they're they are agreeing. Snatcher. A Blade Runner ripoff. That's that's a famous one. Oh well, I've never played it. Oh. Hi. That could be a good place to go then. Blade Snatcher. Yes, that's it, no, it's called Sword Snatcher. This <laughs> Edged Weapon Snatcher. This big wheel. I was looking for one of those normal puzzle wheels. No, they're talking about this thing. All right, all right. What do we do with this? What do we do with the wheel, boy? Oh, there you go. What do we do with the wheel, boy? Use your word power. Tell me what to do. On a scale of one to Kratos, how durable is that boy? Uh, he's mega Kratos as he never dies. In battle, uh, you can fall, the boy cannot. <laughs> so he's mega Kratos. Uh, there, I, I've seen some people call this game a, uh, a game long escort mission. Uh, to which I will say that is very incorrect because you never have to worry about the boy's health. Every once in a while an enemy will knock him down, which just means he can't shoot his arrows. He is Ultra Boy, yes. Inf he is Infinity Boy. Infinity Boy! Invulnerable Boy! Ooh, there you go. I am invulnerable boy, here to stop the dastardly deeds of the new villains daring. What? You'd be silly. I sometimes. How do we get in here? How do we get in here? I want to get in here. Well, wait, look around. What's to the right of that? Rocks. Oh. Just rocks. I don't care about rocks. Not up there. Go go back to the go back to the gate. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Got to check. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah, yeah. Once we get into the gate, my guess is my guess is that's an entrance over on the on the exact opposite side of it. Probably right. After before you row the boat over there. Ooh, I bet you, you can. You check you check this side, you know. Yeah. Wait, did you climb up that thing? When are you yeah. angry? Oh, okay. What? With me. When? Oh. I guess... Sometimes when you don't think I can do something. But I can. It is not always easy to know what... It's okay. I get it. I'm little. Where's that what stone, I wonder? Oof. Nice! Just throw a rock right at you. So, and here's a, a fun little gameplay thing. So Rich put his axe away. So he could beat up the troll with his hands, which does more stun damage, so Rich can hop on his head like this. Which is a neat little option. So now he can have the troll beat up the other dudes instead of just doing damage to the troll. Kind of neat. Uh, how are you liking Thor Dad Narok? <laughs> First of all, Philp Monk, excellent. That's an excellent title, Thor Dad Narok. Uh, I think Rich likes it a little more than I do. Yeah. I, I like parts of it, uh, specifically the combat. I think the combat's very good. I have many issues with it, though. Uh, D. McCarthy says, Kratos saying, boy, is great, 
and all, but no one will ever beat Agnes Scrim from the Phantasm movies, say. I don't think I know the Phantasm movies. Silver spinny balls flow in the air and have spikes on them? Yeah, I don't know if I know if I've seen those. I don't know if I've seen those movies. So I, I'm sorry. Rich, do you know when he says the boy in those movies? I don't really remember. It's been a long time since I've seen any of them. Oh, okay. That's a J movie? Okay. okay oh, great. yeah, J likes Phantasm. <laughs> wait, wait, don't go up there yet, because I uh, bet you can... Uh, there you go. Uh, yeah, explore. I know. I know. I know, dog. I bet there's a way to that treasure war. Oh. Oh, hello. Nope. How about that one? Can you reach it? Yeah. Like, look, he shot through the bricks. <laughs> can you send those bricks down? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. It'd be funny if they accidentally landed on the boy. <laughs> like, that was the only way you could kill him <laughs> in the entire game. Oh, shit. <laughs> To this. I think I'm going to go put it back down and check that one way first. Mm. This, mm. Seems, this seems like the way you're supposed to go. Classic games. What's, whatever, whatever the way that I'm supposed to go, I'm definitely going the other way first. Yeah. Yeah. That's such a Kratos thing. Like, not not punching, not kicking, not using your weapons. Just picking up a thing and slamming it against a wall <laughs> or floor. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm Kratos! <laughs> Is Rich having aiming issues? Hey, yeah. I'd prefer to be using either the gyroscope or a mouse. I I was rather upset that you could not do motion aiming. Oh, God, yeah. That would help a lot. That I've, would help a lot. I've gotten very used to motion aiming in Breath of the Wild, and the PS4 controller has that capability, but they decided not to implement it here in God of War. Even though it would be great. E even though it would be great. Boy. Because as everyone knows, I hate aiming with control sticks. Yes. It's the worst it's the worst thing imaginable. Yeah. Aim with your feelings, <laughs> says Jack Trigger <Trier> Joyce. <laughs> That's great. And and you know, like so often in battle you need to kind of aim quickly. And they, they do have aim assist, but yeah. There are so many occasions where you you just want to fine tune the aiming, and yeah, being able to do that with motion controls would be preferable. Motion aiming is the absolute worst. Why? I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong, dog. Like that's the one thing I'm worried about with emulating Breath of the War Breath of the Wild on uh, PC. Um... I'm worried I won't be able to get my motion aiming working, but there might be some kind of mouse option. I bet there is a mouse option if if it's emulated. Which would just be tits. That'd be the tits. Wow. That would make it better than the Switch version in every conceivable way. <laughs> 2018, the year in which motion controls are actively asked for rather than despised. Yeah, for, 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 like, as part of a regular controller, with just, like, a 
added aim while you're still doing all the other stuff you need to do, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a good thing. We uh, So basically it's, 2018 where we found the balance. Well, you found the proper usage. Right. Not 100% motion controls for everything all the time, thank you, yeah. Wii. Yeah. But a little bonus here and there. We found to my aim. Yep. Yep, yep. Rail2 says, Rich isn't worried about emulators ruining Breath of the Wild. He's worried about Jack calling the cops. I totally am. How upset would the cops be at me if I <laughs> if anyone legitimately did that? <laughs> They'd say, what's wrong? I got that at home. If uh, like if if I were a police officer and someone said, um, I, I think my there. neighbor is emulating games on his computer. I would arrest that person for wasting my time. Yeah. Like you, you yeah. know, like, I got drug dealers and murderers and rapists to deal with. Um, uh, as far as my list of priorities are concerned. Also, I ain't no snitch. I need to make that pretty darn clear to everyone. I will waggle my finger all day long. <laughs> and I'll, I'll just enjoy the breeze. Ex ex <laughs> Could you use all of your fingers? Yeah. Oh, I'll <laughs> waggle them so hard at you. I own the fucking game. But <laughs> <laughs> they got my money. This is the sun. That ghost sun? How do you know? The sigil. It matches the dagger we found in his father's back. He stood his ground, but it was not enough. They betrayed him. Betrayal begets betrayal. My guess, the young one murdering his dad didn't sit well with the others. He thought himself ready to lead. It cost him his life. I guess. Look there, lad. By his feet. The whetstone! <gasps> oh, I actually found it. They used it to smash his face in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with this turn of events. They used it to smash his face in. Classic Kratos! <laughs> That was awesome. That was awesome, Rich. Nicely done. That was darn near impressive. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. The the decision to not use your weapons to, to inflict the R3 damage, that was darn near impressive, man. You got the Shattered Gauntlet of Ages. What does this one do? Can I go to a menu thing to look at this? You can equip it, I suppose. I don't know what it does. It's a talisman. That does what? Uh, I, well, right now I think you have, like, the healing talisman. I think I got the, the aim one. Oh, you have the aim one? Oh, okay. So, uh, you could go into the menu and look up what it does. I suppose. I'll finish this fight first. Well, right. Kind of, kind of, a, kind of in the middle of something. Oh, right? shit. I'm sorry. Just the game video. Yeah, every every once in a while, we don't know why. Uh, uh, adding to the list of things we don't know about. Uh, the stream, uh, you will see the video game stutter every once in a while, and we don't necessarily know why that's happening. I haven't fucked around with the talismans much. Where, where, where in the menu is this, Jack? Oh, fuck, man. Uh, there, down there. The bottom one. There we go. You have the talisman of betrayal, which uh, gives you a little defense buff. Also, activate while aiming to slow down time. Oh, that's a pretty good one. You haven't been using that. 
I really haven't. Yeah. I keep forgetting about it, in Absolutely. all honesty. So if you click on it, then you have a couple. I, I usually use the concentrated vitality, which gives you a little health bonus. It's a good amount of defense. It's your of heal is too powerful to run fragile. And you can equip it with a with a, a, a bonus jewel. Which, that ain't not bad, my friend. So now go to it and press the square so you can socket it up. Yeah, yeah. Sock it to me. Shit. Uh, Anonymous says, what are both of your favorite turn-based RPGs? Not XCOM. I don't have a favorite turn-based RPG. There you go. There you go. I'm sure I've played one I've enjoyed. I, why I haven't. This whetstone behind. If Sindri wants it, it must be really useful. Well, uh, dreamers have very specific priorities. If it's not shiny and you can't eat or drink it, might as well use it as a blunt object. Go fuck yourself. No, I didn't say go fuck yourself. That's just my honest answer. I don't like the turn-based RPGs, man. No, that's uh, exclamation point Final Fantasy. Okay. Uh, I'm, I, like, I've played some that I've in genuinely enjoyed, and I just don't really remember what they are at the Is moment. XCOM not a turn-based game? Yeah, okay. Noticed... Turn-based RPGs, I said, not turn-based games in general. Right. XCOM is not a turn-based RPG. Even though... It's a turn-based strategy game. It's a turn-based strategy game. And some would say that the role-playing elements of XCOM are stronger than in most RPGs. <laughs> but then again, you know, things like you know Madden Football are probably then, better all right, then RPGs. If you, if you want to define XCOM as an RPG, I, I love the fuck out of XCOM. Oh, no, what I'm, what I'm saying is, you know, obviously the definition of RPG is different than XCOM, even though the role-playing elements of XCOM are very strong. That wasn't a criticism of you, that was a criticism okay. of how okay. you define things. Where, you know, I... Personally, I think some of the some of the best role playing games are stuff like Madden, where you can you know make and coach your own, or, you know manage your own football team over the seasons. Yeah, very in depth role playing that wouldn't necessarily be called a role playing game. When, when you say turn based RPG to me, yes, I think of something very specific. Of course, like a Final Fantasy style game. Absolutely, no, and I I don't be begrudge you for thinking that. That's the definition of an RPG, even though, like I said. I, I'm just being Here. cute with how we label Boys. Sir. It gets a little semantic at some point There's because no everything is sort of an RPG now. Exactly, Ryan. Wow. Hua. This goes on and on. Father, forgive me. Kind of so fucking tomorrow. everything is yeah, an RPG actually. or has RPG type elements. Mm. Had he thought before taking action, there would be no need for regret, yes? Yeah. Maybe we should bring this to his father. Back at the store. <laughs> I'm gonna short cuts. Right Isn't the new Pixel Indie game you're excited about a turn-based RPG? Yes, and actually that is a classical turn-based RPG where. And like I said, I'm sure there have been games that I've played in the past. I just can't think of anything. I've like I've played Final Fantasy games and enjoyed some of them. Um, this is gonna be bad. I have a way home. What do you mean? I'm sure you have a way home. You know, I I liked a bit of uh, Final Fantasy X and X X two has extensive dress up mechanics. Like that's actually the core gameplay. Is you dress up your characters in different outfits, and that's what turns them into different classes. So I loved Final Fantasy X too. <laughs> so do we have to stop this wheel now? Is that the, I'm assuming? Oh, maybe. My my, uh, I've played a, a lot of Final Fantasy games, and usually my issue with them is the end game. 
Uh, while I enjoy, you know, building up characters, uh, as soon as you get near the final boss, it's such a grind I, because you're underpowered. I hate the grind in those games yeah, in yeah. general. And and that's my, my biggest uh, issue with them. And I, I think that style of combat for turn-based combat is a very boring style of turn-based combat where you just take turns hitting each other. I could. It's extremely boring. I understand why you would feel that way. I, there, I some of it I do find uh, satisfying. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm not going to fault anybody who likes it for liking it. Oh, not, right, right. It's just not my thing. Absolutely. There, there's, there's parts of it I like. There's parts of it where you know, skill trees and building up characters and whatnot. That's XCOM. All right. If you play XCOM where you're just trading shots with the enemy, you're going to lose. XCOM's about positioning. And finding ways to take a better shot. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, there there are things similar strategy-wise in turn-based, in traditional turn-based combat, where, you know, you weaken an enemy first, or give him a, a status ailment, or you buff yourself. There are things in traditional turn-based combat that I feel are similar to an XCOM-type strategy. Not as, uh, it's not as uh, tactical. As mm. XCOM. XCOM is different. But I, I, I do like a lot of that. I like a lot of uh, that turn-based combat stuff. Great. Well, I don't know how to get past this wheel now. Do you have to get past the wheel, or didn't you open a new way out? I didn't see a new way out. Let me, let me... You, you shot some things and opened up a gate, right? Well, I opened up a gate to get to where I went. Wait, can I shut that off from up here? Not really. Does Rich agree Fire Axis XCOM was too simplified compared to the original? No, no real inventory, small squads, etc. I know you have something to say about this. I mean, it's simplified in some ways, but I think the cover aspect actually gives it, you could argue, more depth. Hmm. You're not trading shots out in the open. There you go. I think I think I think they sped up the pace of XCOM without really dumbing it down all that much. Which that's that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm with you. Any any time you can you can make a game more visceral, <laughs> without without uh, giving up too much of what uh, is at its core, you you got a positive. I mean, you you could probably add some inventory depth back in, mm -hmm. but. All said and done, if I had to choose, and I still like the original XCOM, but if I had to choose, I'd probably take the new one. Hmm. When you say you, uh, I, I've heard, I've heard you say XCOM two even. Yeah, I, I lump them together to some degree. Yeah, what, what's in there? Isn't that what you opened up? Is this is where it came from. Oh yeah. Oh, well, there's some gold. Oh, maybe maybe, maybe it's the not. other way. Yeah, that you were on that ship. That's okay. how you got the thing. Okay. But maybe you have to go the other way. No, no, I think this is the other side. I didn't come through here on boat before. No, no. Can't. Probably on the other side yeah, of this Yeah, probably. Thing, yeah. yeah. Mm, or maybe not. Well, there's somewhere. Oh, yeah, see, you got to keep going. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's the dock right there. Uh, YCZM says, also, mods in XCOM 1, XCOM 2 add all the depth you could possibly want. That's, That's true. true. There's a shitload of fucking mods. Any fucking thing you want in that game, there is already a mod and 10,000 updates to that mod. Absolutely. And I, I haven't messed with them because I, I like the pacing of the, the new games. <laughs> right, right. I asked about turn-based RPGs because right now I'm playing Chrono Trigger for the first time and loving it. I would probably despise it. You would probably I'm glad you're it. enjoying it. I'm glad people who like these things enjoy these things. Oh, yeah. I would probably despise it. And I uh, I want to say I've, I tried Chrono Trigger and didn't get too into it. 
What was the other game that I really tried to get into? Oh, you know what? I, you know what game I've never played and I know everyone is supposed to? It's on everyone's list of games is Earthbound. Yeah. That's, you know, the turn-based RPG that everyone loves. And I, I have never played it. I kind of want to. I kind of want to, but also I, you know, like I don't want to come into it at this point and just be like, oh yeah, it's fine, and then have everyone hate me forever because I think I, like, this beloved game is just fine or or shock bad, you know. I just I just don't care about the kid with the spiky anime hair. I just I don't. Right. I don't. You, you don't care about Cloud. I don't. I hate Cloud. Right. Planted us so many wishes. I could just on principle, I hate Cloud. He held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. You know what? I'll tell this one later. The eyes of Odin. We found your whetstone. Oh. Wonderful! This staining is unusual. The Reavers used it to smash another Reaver's face in. <laughs> oh. Wonderful. Here. Thanks, kid. Trouble. Old man yells at clouds. <laughs> oh, at cloud, not clouds. I, I get it. Wait to test out the new I stone. get it. Yeah, because you're an old man. Like you got a you got a rare axe pommel, magic. Rich. I I'll take that one. Sounds like a good axe pommel. One. I saw him spit on it. To lube it out. He said. What's with the sound? We don't know. I think we, we need to check if there's maybe a driver update for our... Uh, no idea. For our capture card. Maybe we haven't updated the driver recently. No idea. If, if we're having sound issues and frame rate issues, we might need to... Might need to check our shit. Aye. <clears throat> For a while, it truly wasn't. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice he would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir yeah, the, and by the way, the, all the audio sounds like it's coming out of a staticky radio for us as well. Oh, wait. Are we sure? Could if I just... This is probably quicker. Sometimes they don't let you. If a story thing needs to happen. I'm not in the middle of a story thing now, though, so... Well, you're in the middle of the main story thing. Oh, but they'll let you. Okay, that's good. Sometimes I've wanted to do the fast travel what thing they wouldn't let me. Well, you gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Are Thor and Why Odin, etc., good or bad in this universe? Bad. Of Asgard, just not I've not met door. Thor or Odin yet. Well, they talk about Odin all the time as a bad guy. He said he okay. to know That's what he's just he said, went through. Is Odin uh well, we'll uh, back to that later. Marrying exactly Freya, want to know. and and then, before, then he said, "I already know what he wanted." What? Don't go that Perhaps way. Perhaps he mistook me for Don't another. Don't do it. Why not? Because yeah. that kills you. That's quite yeah, I can't even go down here, so it's not killing me. There's the circle. Wait, wait. Go ahead if you want. Eh, I don't feel like reloading. What happens? It kills you. You just you just jump. You jump, yeah. We jump. Really? Oh dear. They they have a thing about it earlier in the game. They, they say, they say don't ever don't ever go off that <laughs> off the path because it'll kill you. <laughs> Even though there's a button prompt to go off that path. Eh, whatever. Can you can you imagine why there's a button prompt there? Something happens later, I guess. And, yes. And you, and you have to go off path. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there. Got another favor to ask you two. What do you want, dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Bari. Meet me at the Lonsuther mines. There's but yeah, there's many uh, there's many tales of of Odin's betrayal and 
thievery and depravity and being a Odin is a cruel god in this in this universe. Okay. There's many tales of Odin being a cruel god. It's basically the idiot check. No, it's not an idiot check. It's something that comes into play in the story later. Always tampering with souls and dark rituals and matters of the night. See, it's 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 one of those you can never do that thing. Never ever do it because you'll definitely die. And then the thing is, is like we have to do it. Yeah. We, we have to do it for the story. <laughs> for the story, man. For the story, we have to do it. And then they go, oh, okay, yeah, it works this time. <laughs> So we did start early. What time? What time are we wrapping up, Jack? What are you feeling? That's a question for you, man. You know, I I had planned to be here all fucking night. So how how much do you want to play? For the sake, I, I'm I'm that's the thing. Yeah. I don't mind if we keep streaming. I'm I'm getting a little bit God of War out. Oh okay. Well no, and you know we can we can call it also because we started earlier. Like I haven't had dinner yet. So yeah. What's our uh, hold on? What's our uptime at? How long we've been? How long we've been moving and a grooving? Really? We started early. I didn't think it. Like it doesn't feel like we've been going for three and a half hours. I know. That's crazy. That's crazy, Rich. We've been going for three and a half hours. Well, I like going four. Oh yeah. Uh, and I feel bad for people that didn't get the messages that we were starting early because it was kind of a last minute thing. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, there is stuff, uh, there is something I do want to play. So yep. we can, uh, uh... Do you want to take a break? Wh whenever you want to, uh, stop playing God of War, I'll take over and play a little something. Yeah, I think I'm good for now. Okay. What? I think I'm good for now. I can't believe we're setting foot into your vault. We had a fine that Valkyrie fight. That Valkyrie fight is great. We we did the side quest. Yeah. I think I'm good. Okay, well then save and, and uh, save and quit. Automatically save, or is there an actual manual? Th there's save a this? if you click the uh, the triangle. I'm just, the, I've just I've just I'm just I've just counted on the auto. It does have auto saves as well, but if if you're worried about it, they do have yeah. manual saves. You know. Jack is gonna start cleaning again. I mean, I could do a couple rounds of of uh, no, no, I want to play. Uh, I want to check out that minute game. Minute, or you could do that, or you could check out the new character and slay the spire. Ooh, shit! <laughs> I guess we should check out that new. Uh, whichever character you prefer. The spire. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna go see if there's like a pop tart or something. Something to shove in my face. Do we have a break button? Do we? Do we ever implement that? Uh, maybe. I don't know that we did. It's probably, is it up there? I think we had it in the uh, OBS setup. I, don't it, know I think it's set up in here. Is it set up in here? I don't know. I don't see it. Oh, well. I think oh. we're... We have a, we should have a be right back button. If not, we can make one. Here, make it over here. Co-ops, and no, we just have an end. Yeah, yeah. Here, let me, let me see if I can put that together. We'll, we'll put it together on stream. <laughs> Here, we got a tip. You give me the mouse, you read all the right, tip. All right, all right. Are we caught up in just the one at the top? Yeah, I think. Valiant Bloodshot says, Evening Hack Frauds. Hello! Jack, did you get a chance to watch Ninjack? I did! I, I was able to stomach approximately five minutes of it before turning it off. It's really, it's really low budget, man. I was not quite prepared for how uh, how low budget it was. Live action? Yeah. Okay. Um, Rich, have you played Ninja Gaiden on stream yet? I think I did a while, like years ago. It's been a while, but I'm pretty sure I have. I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan. We're still here. It's just in black. Child uh, of Furniture says, if you could kill the kid during the walking sections of this game, but he respawned, would it make the game more fun? Why? No. The kid's not that bad. The kid's is not that bad. I don't know where people get this idea. Like, I, I think they just heard it from someone who heard it from someone. But no, the kid is not bad. The kid is not... Uh, he He's helpful in the fight. And of course, he is the crux of the story of the fucking game. Uh, oh, here we go. Media. This is what we want. 
media. Boy Clobber says, how much would I need to pay you to play Path of Radiance? $5,000. $5,000. $5,000 will guarantee it. Absolutely. There you go. Didn't we have a... Uh... We did. We had a dancing thing. Where's our... Uh, pro we'll probably put the empty back on. Yeah, just, we'll get something on there so people That's don't fine. see a black screen That's for fine. now. So we got that. At one point, we had a little dancing file. It's on this computer somewhere, I assume. VG Relax. What's that? That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, re Relax. I get why it's Relax. I got to find a... Uh... Here, hold on. Let's go back to this one for a little bit. Hey! Just so we're here. Mm -hmm. So you guys can see us while I look through files on the computer. In case you accidentally like display my, my tax records or exactly. something. Exactly. Yes, thank you. What's this image? <laughs> Rich's home address and social security number. That's probably what we're looking for. Yeah. Right. I don't think that's... Oh, here's the we'll be back dance. It's in the overlay. All right. Okay, so then we'll go back to we'll be back. And then we go to add source, media file, in overlay, we'll be back dance. Yay! Oh, but I didn't make it transparent. That's fine. Well, so I th what I think I got to do... Oh, you know what? Actually, this one is weird where it's actually the color gray, so, which is yeah, the same yeah. color as... Hold on, we'll, we'll make this right. So there's the will be back dance. Wait. But you come out of the side. Oh, can I just make you full full screen here? I probably can. Uh boom. Isn't this exciting? The the behind the scenes behind the scenes of the uh of the stream. I know you're all very excited about it. Is there no way just to make you the size of the thing? Oh, well. Okay, we'll put you down there. And we'll put you boop, 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 there. And then it'll zoom in like, like whoop, whoop, whoop. That's, gr oh, that's great. There, now that we, we did all of this to get our message up, we'll play an obnoxious commercial. Oh, good. <laughs> well, first I'll mute. So we mute this. Oh, no. Then we mute us. 